This is Laura's Art Basement, and today I will be doing a pastel portrait of a mystery guest. I will be using two types of oil pastels. One of them is a more affordable brand, and the other is a professional artist quality. And I will do a comparison and color charts, and at the end of the video, I'll tell you all the things I liked about both those pastels. All I have to do now is wait for my mystery guest to arrive. <laughs> She's here. What is wrong with the dogs? Before we get started, I just wanted to know if you had any thoughts, any ideas about your portrait, anything you were looking for? I think spots. So... Pointillism? I think we'll just get started. Yes. The Pentels, a box of 50 pastels. They are affordable. They're much cheaper at $20 Canadian for a box of 50. You get good coverage, good blending. You need to use some more force because they are a thicker, waxier consistency. 
the sticks themselves are smaller. They're very thin, so the problem is when you have to add the pressure, you end up snapping the pastels. I don't really mind that because I usually end up breaking them and using them in smaller pieces anyway. The Gallery Artist Soft Oil Pastels, advertised as professional pastels. They are more expensive, a box of 72 coming in at $90 Canadian. However, they are larger sticks. I got the 72 because I wanted more of the flesh tones. Lovely range of colors. They are very smooth, very creamy, easy to blend. You get good coverage. I am looking forward to doing a portrait using just those pastels. The problem I had with the pastels was not either one of the individual brands. The problem with this project was that I was mixing the two together. The waxier pastels don't want to mix with the creamier professional artist soft oil pastels. The gallery artist soft oil pastels by Mungyo is a better high quality product. That being said, the Pentel are a great entry-level pastel. They work very well. They're affordable. I actually have done two videos doing portraits using just the Pentels. I guess the main point is you can make art with whatever you can afford. You don't have to have the most expensive brands to make great art. Subscribe to be notified when a new art video is posted. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.